friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Achoo! I'm sure that you felt sick more than once, had an ache, or caught the flu, Achoo! or a cold. <coughs> of course, because almost everyone at some point gets sick. Today, we're going to find out what illnesses is and what types of illnesses they are. Illness exists when something happens to our body and it doesn't work properly. When we are not 100% healthy. Normally, the diseases warns us that it has reached our body. Through symptoms such as Pain, tiredness, feeling bad or even itching. But symptoms do not only warn us of illnesses, they are also some that doctors can detect and measure, such as fever. Who hasn't had a thermometer at some moment of their lives? There are different types of diseases. But we will divide them into two categories. Infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. <coughs> Contagious or infectious diseases are caused by infectious agents that invade our body. They can be spread by another person an animal, the water we drink, or the air we breathe. <coughs> Viruses, for example, such as the famous coronavirus. <laughs> Bacteria, which are responsible for a disease called meningitis. Fungi, which cause an itchy skin disease called dermatitis. and protozoa, which cause malaria, are all very contagious and dangerous diseases. Non-contagious diseases are not caused by external agents, but by the malfunctioning of our body's organs. Diabetes, for example, occurs when the pancreas, which is a very small organ, does not work properly. Among the non-contagious diseases, there's some that affect behavior. For example, there are people who do not want to gain weight and become so obsessed that they practically stop eating and put their health in serious danger. This disease is called anorexia and is very, very dangerous. And finally, there are some very special illnesses because they are different. They are social illnesses and they are caused by the environment in which we live. There are many people who live in situations where they don't have money, education, security, hygiene or love. And when these things are lacking, many illnesses can arise. So it is very important that we help those who have the least whenever we can. As you have seen, there are various types of illnesses. The most important thing is to know them in order to understand them and thus take better care of our body. Health is the best thing we have. Goodbye friends, until the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.